Hey, dear saints, let's talk about suicide. Suicide is a sin against the fifth commandment. And every now and then someone comes to me and says, Pastor, will someone who goes and commits suicide, will they go to hell? And then I have to say, why do you ask? Because if they are seeking comfort from one of their friends who committed suicide, or if they are considering suicide themselves, the question and the answer are different. Dear Saint, if you are considering suicide, remember that it is a sin, that you are not to take your own life. Your life was given to you as a gift by God, and he promises to sustain you. Remember, dear Saint, that our Lord continues to walk with you, and he gives gifts to help you, to support you, and to strengthen you as you deal with this pain. He gives us the wonderful word of God. Listen to the psalmist. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hands. That was Psalm 31. And in Psalm 27, he said, For he will hide me in the shelter of his wings in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. You see, our Savior promises to be with you. He gives us his word. He gives us worship where we're surrounded by others to strengthen us. He gives us confession absolution. So this guilt, this pain that you're dealing with, coming to see your pastor and confessing that pain at the altar means that you're forgiven. Your pastor will pronounce that, that that sin is gone. It was paid for by Christ on the cross and you are free and forgiven. Your pastor is a great gift because he can give you that promise of our Savior. God has given us other great gifts. He's given you the gift of parents. He's given you the gift of a pastor, a church worker, a professional worker who can help you to deal with your pain. You see, our Savior does not want you to struggle in this pain. He does not want you to feel like this. He wants to bring you back to good health that you might live in joy and peace all the days of your life. You see, there is no pain in this world that our Lord cannot overcome. Our Lord knows pain. He was there on the cross, and he gave his life as a one-time sacrifice for you for all of your sins so that you can be forgiven. There is no pain that is greater than our Savior because when he gave up his life in death so that we would be forgiven, he took it up again on the third day, rose from death's grasp, walked out of the tomb, and lives and reigns today to give you peace and hope and forgiveness. There is no pain that our Savior cannot deal with. He is not afraid of what you've done. He will not cast you off because of the things that you're struggling with. He has provided you gifts. He has provided you hope. Dear Saint, I pray that if you are considering suicide, that you find some help. Talk to your pastor. Talk to your parents. Find a professional to help you work these things out because your Lord loves you. And he wants you to continue living in his peace and his joy and living a healthy in a pain-free life. Remember, dear child of God, you're baptized. Remember, dear child of God, live in that baptism and those promises that God has given to you. Go in his peace. Amen. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give. Help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.